Live, I'm Ramblin' Roar, your whole hog host here on this Friday afternoon ramble and a couple of selections from No Stranger to the Pig. And Dan Hicks and his hot licks doing uh, uh, Payday Blues, uh, one of our favorites around here and longtime favorite. And then another one there called Hell I'd Go, uh, one of the more interesting uh, uh, topical songs on uh, the uh, uh, experiences of being uh, picked up and taken away from this planet. We'd like to welcome to K-Pig Radio our very special guest this afternoon, appearing tonight at Palookaville in Santa Cruz, and it's certainly a pleasure to meet you, sir. None other than Dan Hicks, live in the pigsty. Well, uh, you know, it's good to be here. A little, little trip over there, over Highway 17, on into the area. It looks like so far it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's always a, a pleasure to have you in our area. Although, uh, I don't... I don't believe I get get K Pig up there in uh, Mill Valley on the, on the FM radio, no. and uh, personally I, I I don't have a computer, not yet anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I've sure been a fan of K Pigs yeah. all this time, and uh, and before that, uh, uh, Fat Radio, and uh, you know just just behind the format, you know for starters yeah. and uh, the programming. So it's a gas, man. Yeah, good it's to be a, here. It's a, a pleasure to uh, meet you. As I said, and uh, wanted to not really have to point out, but your music has been a core of uh, the radio sound of Pig and KFAT for all these years. Well, um, you know, I uh, I appreciate that, and and uh, you know, I think. Uh, it does. I think it fits right in with mm-hmm. everything here. You know, it's got that, uh, well, kind of local boy thing. Since, yeah. uh, and also, uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff's got a little country tinge to it, too, mm-hmm. and everything. So um, I, uh, I'm i glad, glad to say that... Um, I'm glad to say that... What am I glad to say, really? Not much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, have, uh, you, you haven't really been anywhere. I mean, you've huh? played, and uh, you've... You haven't uh, uh, been away from the scene. We've had you out here at uh, various festivals. I'm, right I on. You know, right on. Your pictures are uh, of you performing are on the walls here at K Pick. Yeah. Well, I'll take a look around and see. Yeah. Make sure that uh, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's easy for you to say, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, the history of uh, Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks. Uh, can you? Uh, we can get all that music now on CD. It's all um, available. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's one album. Um, the uh, it, it happened one bite that came out on uh, mm-hmm. Warner Brothers in the uh, late '70s. Uh, that is a, a Japan import at this point. Mm-hmm. I think you know it'll get on a on a domestic uh, situation available. But all the rest of them, uh, yeah, they're all on 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 CD now, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And and uh, right. You got this brand new one out. Yeah, this came out uh, at the end of uh, August, and um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been in the studio, and um, we did a, did it with uh, a lot of uh, L.A. La- Los Angeles did it down there, and the, the company that it, that put out the album Surf Dog are based out based out of San Diego, so I did I went you know into Southern California and did a lot uh, did most of the album there. Uh, uh, with uh, L.A. Uh, session guys mm-hmm. and then some other friends, and uh, including uh, Sid Page, who was uh, on the original mm-hmm. uh, original albums with me. Sure. Wow. So, and then a couple of guys that are touring with me now too are were on the album. So, you know, kind of just kind of put it together, uh, and uh, it uh, unfolded. Yes. Let, let's play a track here called Meet Me on the Corner. Okay. Let's play this. Here, All right. Some fresh pork for you from Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks from the new CD, Beating the Heat. Take, I'm already awake. You can lay out a spread. 
see where I am. I got no bread but plenty of jam. And when I wake up tomorrow, my tears will be burnt from the dam. Won't you meet me on the corner about half past two? Can't you hear me calling you? Ain't there something you can do to shed a little light? To make it all right so the dog won't bite and I can sleep all night. I've been so kind of fixed. So kind of fixed. I'm a drummer and I can't find my sticks. And when I wake up tomorrow, I'll be forgetting all of my licks. Am I down on my luck? Down on my luck. If it walks like a duck, it's a duck. It's a duck. And I see myself walking. Over there, someone just dropped a buck. You can put me your ball, or we'll rat through. Give me the house that I choose. Where do I sign to make it all mine? Or did I just say some more made up news? But that's the way it goes. There's a steady stream of the door. If I try locking that door, they'll be breaking it down, as I'm sure. Won't you meet me on the corner by half past two? Can't you hear me calling you? Ain't there something you can do? Shed a little light, make it all right, so the dog won't fight and make the sheep all night. So you see what I got? See what I got? I got some kind of weird ass plot. I better work on my story. Or at least begin to give it a shot. That's a nice number right there. Meet me on the corner. That's on the latest Dan Hicks and Hot Licks CD. And uh, that features uh, Elvis Costello helping out on vocals, huh? Yeah, you know, um, he was amongst uh, a few other guest artists, that um, guest vocalists that we we, um, we got a hold of just uh, just through um, uh, kind of a friendship and mutual admiration and that kind of thing, you know. And uh, I'm not supposed to say this, but... Uh, uh, we we sent the tape over over there to, to England, so because I get asked now and then, what was it like, you know? Hey, you know, what was it like there being in the studio with Elvis? And boy, I bet that was really good, you know. And so uh, I never, actually, I never saw the guy, uh-huh. you know. But but I sent him my my sound and made yeah. a few suggestions where he could sing and stuff. And uh, yeah, that turned out real good. And uh, same thing with uh, Brian Setzer. He just he was down in L.A. and his uh, manager owns the Surf Dog label, uh-huh. so he's he's uh, so that 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 worked out with that. So he put on a little g- couple of guitar solos. Yeah, that's a yeah. little tune. Yeah, that's about as close as I get to rock and roll. I think. Yeah. Uh, you know. I was I was there, thinking on the CD. On that one, yeah. You uh, you've done that. You've encompassed all of the styles. I think that you could. Uh, come up with at at that time that you recorded it. <laughs> M- one of the most interesting takes on one of the most famous of Dan Hicks tunes is "I Scare Myself." Yeah, now that's kind of rock and roll too. Uh, the way uh-huh. uh, they they um, I had a lot to do with uh, uh, the arrangements on all the on all the songs and got the thing going and everything. Yeah. But uh, on that particular one, the guys down there, the producers down in the Los Angeles, uh, made their own track. And made their own sounds and that kind of backward stuff or whatever's happening there. Yeah. And then Ricky Lee showed up uh, to do uh, that tune "Drifting" with me, and they they said, "Well, ask her to sing this one with you." He, I don't, uh, you know, it was sort of like the, the record company's idea. Uh, certainly, the sound was, and and uh, 
the, the just recording to do the recording to do that song was was their idea and because I had done it a couple other times mm -hmm. on two other albums with uh, the original Hot Licks so but you know that's uh, uh, it yeah it is kind of like a pretty popular tune of mine if there's going to be a popular tune that that's yeah. that's definitely one of them and I do that song every night yeah. uh, in concert mm -hmm. I've been doing it right along yeah. you know I like to do that one I don't ever pass it up it's just kind of a, it's a kind of a different feel too as far as like you know the compositions go I want to play it because it's got a real interesting you atmosphere play going that one? on do you mind you know, I don't. Yeah, I, I'll play you know, something else a, on the no, CD. No, no, yeah, play that one. Play that. I'll be doing a show with Ricky Lee anyway. Mm -hmm. um, what would be officially tomorrow night in, yeah. in Oakland at the Paramount? I just wanted to mention that. We'll throw that in there. Now, are you do a little co bill deal. Yeah. Are you going to get together and do some songs? You know, if she shows that? up in time enough uh, tomorrow night to to, um, to talk it over. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sure we're going to get up there together. You you just might hear this. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Ricky Lee Jones uh, guesting on that uh, very interesting and uh, wonderful rendition of "I Scare Myself." Yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, mellifluous. 
Are you? Uh, I'm encouraged to see that this all this music stands up over the time. You know that, uh, Dan. The Dan, last uh, thirty. Dan, or, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 30, um, 30, 40, well, 35 that, you know, years? that's nice. I mean, yeah. it's nice that, uh, and also when I'm doing shows or, you know, people yell out songs and stuff, which I think, gee, am I ever going to get out of this? You know, like, am, they gonna, can I have my own uh, repertoire? You know, like, can I? Mm-hmm. But I do, I do, I do play the songs I want to play, but it's still, a, I mean, they uh, they, they want to hear those songs that, that, you know, they were hearing uh, 30 years ago, I guess. Mm-hmm. So... Well, they hold up. Good. The the feeling of the music holds up, certainly. Yeah, and I think um, I don't know when I when I'm doing stuff uh, live, uh, it's got a fresh you know fresh sound to it. So, and uh, I mean I got I got one line in Milkshake and Mama, you know that uh, that it says something about uh, you know later. Later we got married and had a bunch of little jerks, you know, and, I, and uh, I'm still they're still laughing at that. I mean, that, I was thinking, geez, I mean, I thought that up like in 1967 or something, you know, and like it was it was funny then, <laughs> and it's funny now, I guess, you know. <laughs> Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks tonight at know. Palookaville in Santa Cruz. Yes, sir. Uh, showtime, I guess, about eight o'clock. Yeah, it's, I think it's yeah eight or eight, yeah something like that. Uh, over the years, you, you uh, not only have been, uh, you know, recording and, and uh, performing all around Northern California. Uh, you are a, a seasonal worker around the holidays. You you put together a little, a uh, little holiday thing uh, up well, in the area there. Uh, uh, yeah, up there in uh, in uh, Mill Valley, Marin County. Um, I, actually, I don't know if I especially put it together. Uh, uh, there's more or less a, another a guy, Tim mm-hmm. Eshelman, who oh. who uh, he's got his own band, the Rhythm. Rhythm Town Jive, something or other. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, he and and me and and some other guys uh, um, that are professional uh, musicians. We yeah, we get together and do this Christmas jug band thing every yeah. year. Yeah, been doing that for a couple of decades, I think. Yeah. You know, we got three three albums out, uh-huh. um, and uh, we do a lot of parody tunes, and mm-hmm. it's kind of a neat. Mm-hmm. Neat thing where for me I can just be like I can be as perf- as much of a of a performer as I want or not like there's like eight guys on the stage so yeah. you know and uh, and I sing my my tunes and play you know it's a good it's it's all, it's gotten it's progressed you know musically it started out as a kind of a kitchen kitchen uh, you know. Uh, Band mm-hmm. where we just banged on the well, your kitchen utensils and stuff. <laughs> see how loaded, see how loaded we could get. You know? Merry Christmas. Before the cops came. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't have to be Christmas either. It could be any time. <laughs> yeah, that's a little side project. And that music as well is is uh, at the uh, pretty much the, at the center of our Christmas uh, music. Well, that's good to know, yes. because, you know, you see, I mean, we get bypassed on, the, of course, the main mainstream, mm-hmm. the, 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 you know, I mean, like, I'll see big displays in, uh, in, in places, and there'll be, oh, Christmas music, and all mm-hmm. this stuff, and Perry Como, and, uh, you know, Jacob Dylan or whoever, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, and uh, Bobby Brown, and... Uh, <laughs> Rap your mother and whoever <laughs> you know and uh, Lee. Yeah. yes and then we'll, it won't be there you know and there'll be Christmas specials on television mm-hmm. and you know uh, 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 Andy Williams and s- snow uh, uh, dripping from his nose and everything you know and yeah and um, we get so it's good to hear that there's a because we always figured there's a place for us we should be on Letterman and stuff we're we're unique we're cool <laughs> we're we're saying something we got a good music mm-hmm. and it's a good Christmas thing and we just haven't like uh, cracked through yet <laughs> you know well uh, the ice are are you gonna get together this year this uh, December I think so yeah yeah. Are you going to be yeah. uh, you're going to be uh, our special guests? I do believe. Do we want to announce this? Yes. Sir. Oh, you can say something about that. Sure. Why not? 
Why don't you tell anybody's them? like thinking about what they're going to be doing in December? You know. Yeah. Well, it's a very special occasion. It'll be yet another extraordinary night with uh, Dan Hicks and all his friends from San Francisco coming down. Mm-hmm. And it'll be the Christmas Jug Band at the Humbug Hoedown. And this is about the first week in December this comes along. We'll Yaza. keep you updated. Yaza. But that's a last-minute edition. We wanted to let you know about to uh, today. Uh, okay. December 2nd it is. And that'll be at the Catalyst? Yes, yes sir. At the, in at Santa the Catalyst. Cruz. Yeah, the uh, 8th or 9th Annual Humbug Hoedown featuring the Christmas Jug Band and Robert Earl Keene. So it's going to be quite a night. Dan Hicks and his hot licks tonight, though, in Palookaville. Uh, up in Santa Cruz is going to be a great show. Uh, did you want to uh, give us a little uh, something on the guitar there? Yeah, uh, sure. I got the guitar with me, my yeah. Guild F50 yes. guitar, and I use my uh, regular picks here, my Dunlap thumb pick and my uh, Dunlop finger picks. And uh, tonight we'll be there. It'll be, uh, there'll be uh, six of us. Uh, we got a couple of ladies, and uh, call the, I'm calling the Lickettes once again. Seems to work. Thank you That's so much. For the Lickettes. Yeah. And uh, violin, and uh, oh. uh, get a Django-style guitar player, and uh, string bass, and myself. And, the, and uh, we'll do a lot of tunes off the, the new album, Beating the Heat. I don't know. I think we might be doing this one tonight. This is uh, Striking It, uh, Strike It While It's Hot. Uh, kind of like this tune. It's about uh, realizing, um, oh, I don't know, situations, uh, predicaments and everything. And uh, perhaps uh, if it's getting the better of you, it might be time to change change things. And uh, maybe this is the time. It might be time to strike it while it's hot. When that pitcher gets off a curveball, does that mean that there was no ball at all? When the preacher catches you asleep, does that mean that you're some kind of a creep? You'd be standing on the corner looking like a stupid loner waiting for a bus. But the bus will pass you by and you couldn't catch his eye and you can bite its dust. When the rain clouds pass and it stays dry, does that mean that there wasn't no clouds up in the sky? When the rain comes back and it pours good, does that mean that you finally understood? So you want to feed your belly and you jump into the deli looking for a bite. And you have a close encounter with somebody at the counter looking for a fight. And your week's not all that it could be. And you reach out for something so impatiently. And your days turn into months on end. It's time to flip the page and to start up again. Time to roll over, see what other tricks you got. Time to move over, let the new guy take a shot. Strike it while it's hot, it's later than might not. Be any room for thought. <laughs> When that star runs out all of your size Does that rocket your plans up into other skies? What's the combination of the latest compilation? There's a neat interpretation to avoid a reputation Or can we simplify, make it work? Time to roll over, see what other tricks you got Time to move over, let the new guy take a shot Strike it while it's high Later, there might not be any room for thought. Do 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 do
So you jump back in and play some more And you're breaking all records that have gone before And you turn yourself a 180 Does that mean that your eyes are looking backwardly? So you like to turn around and see the other side of town But it's not easy And every time you look it seems that they took away the scenery It's a view that you're not quite used to But since when did that ever seem to bother you? Time to roll over, see what other tricks you got Time to move over, let the new guy take a shot Strike it while it's hot, it's later there might not Be any room for thought, you've got to strike it while it's hot Strike it while it's hot Yes, indeed. Thank you, Dan Hicks, live in a pigsty on a Friday afternoon. Dan, you've played everywhere around the world. You've played on many, many stages, but I think you need to add to your resume of all those great uh, years that you have been performing. You have now made it in a pigsty. You have performed. Well, thank you so much. It's, uh, it should be a big day for you. We hope it is. <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling that, you know... I don't think uh, I've been uh, here in the sty for quite a while, and I've uh, touched a few things here, and I don't feel like washing my hands for for, for quite a while now, <laughs> just because. Well, you might want to think about that so, before showtime. <laughs> is that right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Some of this stuff, you touch it, it starts uh, glowing on the end of your fingers. What's that thing crawling over there? Yeah, watch that what now. What is that? And, and watch your step over there. It's kind of day glow. <laughs> if you're looking for information on Dan Hicks online... Check out www.lifelikecharm.com slash Hicksville. Again, www.lifelikecharm.com slash Hicksville. And uh, you can find out everything you want about Dan Hicks. That's right. His new album on uh, Surf Dog label is uh, also uh, surfdog.com online if you need to I believe to that's what that. it is. Yeah. And Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks tonight at Palookaville. Showtime, 9 o'clock. Jeremy K. will be opening. And uh, right. it's going to be a pig night in Palookaville with the it's return gonna of be. Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks. Our pleasure uh, uh, just to have you here is uh, enormous. We, uh, well, I've had an, an, an anointing good time. You've put out uh, an incredible so amount of uh, music over <laughs> the years. And uh, you're still right up there with all of us here at Pig Radio. Well, that's great. All right. And have a great show tonight. Okay. And uh, say hello to Ricky Lee Jones tomorrow night up at the Paramount in Oakland. If you're looking for him up in the Northwest Pigs, be alert. Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks in Seattle, in Portland, and then playing in the eastern part of the U.S. Be on the lookout uh, on your yeah. area venues there. He'll be appearing at a uh, place That's near right. You, you know, uh, it's it's the big time for me now, Roar. Yeah, hey, everywhere from here is uh -huh. up for Th you. There we are now. You better believe There it. we are. Dan Hicks, thank you very much, sir. All right. All right.